Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode of Shooting Tuscany. At this time I found myself in one of the most popular locations for photography which is called I Cipressini di San Quirico Torcia. I know it's not easy. <laughs> this is what I like to call the photographer's playground and soon enough you will understand why. There are virtually endless compositions that you can take. So yeah, in this video we're going to see a few of the classic ones but when you'll be here you understand what I'm saying you really there's a lot of space for imagination so don't stop just to take the classic views but just try to scout around and I'm sure you will find you will find something new and something more personal hopefully so if you want to know more about how to shoot this location when it's best to see it and how to reach it well just keep watching the video So when should you visit the Cipressini di San Quirico d'Orcia? Now to me, hands down, this is a spring location and I'll explain why very quickly. In many other locations you are looking for the low fog in the valleys, so that's something that you have higher chances in autumn. But here it's hardly a foggy location, so all you want really is just a good foreground for your pictures and that generally comes, you know, in spring with wildflowers and lush green fields. So spring is definitely the season to visit and same as the time of the day it's a very easy choice because the sun at sunset it is going down in the opposite direction meaning you'll get the last light of the day on the cypresses and on the hills all around so to me this is a sunset location that's when you should be here one of my most favorite views around here are those two cypress trees on the hill. Now what I like to do in this case is to place them both at an equal distance from the edge of the frame. So that means that on a horizontal frame I will place the two trees in the middle and possibly I will give two-thirds of the frame to the foreground because right now you cannot see it but at sunset you will get a lot of all these hills will become lines, will become geometries, you know, so it's going to be a very, very pretty scene. And if you don't like to place them both in the same frame, you can always zoom in a little bit, maybe going vertical and shoot the single tree. So in this very simple scene, you will find at least three shots. It's a very nice frame. One of the perspectives that I just can't help but reshoot again every time that I find myself here is this one. The leading line of the road leading all the way to the horizon. It's, it's a really, really pretty frame. And at sunset, when you get all the plays of, you know, lights and shadows in the hills, it's just a very, very pretty scene. Now you have to compose carefully here because the road is really not going all the way down to the horizon. It's just, you know, going down to the parking lot. There are two separate roads. But if you compose carefully, you'll manage, you know, to trick the perspective and make it seem like it's just one road. In this video we are seeing a lot of perspectives but I am rather sure that most of you will want to take at least one picture of this classic view of the location. Now in order to reach this view don't make the mistake to walk on the freeway, okay? That's dangerous. Just park your car and walk below the bridge where you will find a trail that will lead you here at this safe spot. It's definitely safer to stay here than just shoot with a tripod from the freeway where cars are driving fast. Now, as composition, well, you really have tons of choices here. You can opt, you know, for the classic one, the wide angle view with both the group of cypresses that I have at my back, as well as zooming a little bit more and, you know, focus on one of the two groups. You can go horizontal, you can go vertical. So really tons of choices. It's definitely up to you in the end to decide which one you like the most.
another perspective from where I like to shoot the cypresses it's this one and when I'm saying this one I don't just mean the trail which is a kind of cool leading line but this entire ridge if you if you want to call it a ridge so this entire area and but this is highly depending on which season I'm here for example right now it's not really that interesting so I wouldn't stop but in spring when you have you know the lush green fields and maybe a few wild flowers here and there that's where when I would stop definitely and take a few pictures you can you know play around with a few foregrounds you can do focus stockings around here and well guess what this is a fantastic perspective to shoot the Milky Way too because especially I would say in early summer so June slash July you will get the Milky Way right on top of the cypress trees from this area so it's a very cool shot that those are the time of the year when I would stop here The third and last perspective from where you can shoot this these famous cypresses is from up here so from above basically an elevated view of the cypress trees and well at sunset you will get the sun setting right behind so if you are a lover of sunburns and sun stars this might be the right option for you now again this is another perspective that highly depends on which season you are visiting because right now for example i wouldn't stop here it's not that interesting you don't have any foreground but in spring this field is completely green and often filled with wildflowers generally canola flowers mustard those are the most common ones and so you get a really really nice foreground and this makes an incredibly nice scene one last perspective that you can get when you are in this location is this one and you'll find it if you keep walking after the first group of cypresses along the hill you'll eventually reach this point okay with this very straight road with a second group of cypresses and I like to shoot it in the most symmetrical way in the most possible symmetrical way here meaning I stand in the middle of the road and I just point directly into the cypress trees it, it's a very strong leading line and I really really love this framing during spring then you can also you know look for more foreground as this field will be you know with wildflowers so that you can create this kind of crown of <laughs> cypresses so another very very nice perspective don't miss this Reaching the Cipressini di San Quirico d'Orcia is fairly easy. I will leave you the exact GPS coordinates of the spot in the description, so you can just copy those and paste them into your GPS. But anyway, they are located in the splendid Val d'Orcia and between San Quirico d'Orcia, which is the town from where they take their name, and Montalcino, which you can see far away in the distance. Now, when it comes to parking, you have two options here the first one if you're lucky enough to find a spot in one of the small spaces along the road then you can leave your car there the second option if those two spaces are filled and that's fairly easy because they're very small is to keep driving arrive exit at Montalcino and then take an unpaved road which will eventually lead you on the opposite side of this location be careful if you have a low ground clearance car because there are some very very big potholes in the end i really really struggled to think about another photographic location that has so much to offer 
like the Ciprosini di San Quirico d'Orcia. You can shoot with your wide angle, with your medium telephoto lens, with your long telephoto lens, with your drone, plenty of drone scenes. There's really, really plenty of photographic and creative opportunities. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching as always, and feel free to drop any questions in the comments. See you next time.